I never downed that guy. When he asked me, he said, you don't look like no preacher. I never said a bad word to him. I never said a mean word to him, brother. I said, son, we come in all shapes and sizes. Hey, man, we come in ever different colors and shapes and sizes. I just look at them and say, we'll pray for you. We all come in shapes and sizes, amen. I tell you what, that, uh, that right there really, it really made me feel like, you know, people just ain't looking at the real problem today. They're not looking at what really is going on today. I had my other verses here. I'll find them in just a second. I thought my Bible a little bit and it lost my verses, but we don't care for that. We'll keep a looking for them right here. Amen. The Lord knows what I need to preach on. Amen. But let me tell you something today. God loves you. God loves you enough that he died on that cross for you. I'll get these verses here in just a second. I've got to keep on going through here. I've got it marked. Amen. I've got it marked. Amen. Let me tell you something today. Christ, he loves you. And I know he loves me. Because before we was ever born, before we was ever born, Christ died on that cross for us. He done knew us. He knew our lives. He knew I was going to be an old country boy. He knew I was going to be just somebody that couldn't read real good. He knew that. He knew he us all. He knew everything about us. Boy, they're going to have to make this screen bigger. I run over the one, I guess, a 52-inch screen, so I'm all over the place. Amen. I can't help it. The Lord, he's good to me. Amen. He's good to me. Let me tell you right here what God said. Listen to what God said over here in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 19 through 22. I might go further. I might not go that further. We're just going to do what God gives us. Amen. He said, nevertheless, I, I'll be honest with you. Listen, I hear what this is saying. Uh -huh. I believe this was taken right out of what that, right there, what I just read. Listen to what he's saying here. I believe that with all my heart. These two verse, these two chapters went together because he's telling us something here. That's why God's plan is perfect. There's no wrong in God's plan. Listen to what he said here. Nevertheless, the foundation of God stand us sure. Amen. He stand up sure. It don't matter what we think. It don't matter how we feel about other people. When it's in Christ, it's good. Hey, man, it is good. He said, nevertheless, the foundation of God stand us sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that is his. Amen. He knoweth them that is his. Amen. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. He's telling us right here to depart from iniquity. Amen. We don't need to be out running around in sin. We don't need to be out drinking with our buddies. We don't need to be out a smoking pot with our buddies. Amen. We need to be in church. We need to be in fellowship with other Christians. He said we need to quit this iniquity. Now I'm going to tell you something else. I'm not telling you that you don't need to talk to a sinner. Because I'm about as bad for that as anybody. I'll walk up in a crowd. I don't care who they are. I'll associate with all of them because you know why? Christ associated with sinners. That's the reason he came. Me and Brother Bobby were just talking about that just a few minutes ago. About he came for the sinners to bring them to repentance. Hey, man, we need to talk with, with sinner people. Tell them about Christ. Fellowship with them. Show them your love today. Show them that you're Christ-like. 
That's the way Christ wants it today. Be in a great house. There are not only, listen at this now right here. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You know how gold and silver look good. Hey, Amen. Gold and silver look good. But listen at this. He says, but in a great house, there are only vessels of gold and silver. Not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and of earth. And the same to honor and some to dishonor. Amen today. We've got about 30 seconds or something. I want to pray for each and every one of you out there today. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we ask you just to reach out and touch each and every one of them today, Lord. Lord, just go with them, Lord, and help them. And lead and guide each and every one that's there today, listening in. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.